Thermal expansion. Here we will describe thermometers and temperature scales and thermal expansion. Thermodynamics and temperature. How does temperature affect materials and how is this used to measure temperature? We will describe linear expansion, volume expansion, the physics of thermostats, the physics of thermometers. Definition Thermodynamics Thermodynamics is the branch of physics that deals with conversions between heat energy and other forms of energy. Thermal expansion as solids and liquids are heated, they expand because their molecules gain kinetic energy and move around more. Thermal expansion of solids can be predicted using the linear expansion equation. Expansions of liquids can be predicted using the volume expansion equation. Both of these will be described shortly. For example, the ticking noises heard after a hot car is shut down are due to the shape changes of the engine parts as they cool. Linear Expansion Equation The linear expansion equation is of the form delta L equals L times alpha times delta T where L is the length of the object, T is for temperature, and A is a coefficient of linear expansion, which has units of per degree, meaning degree is on the bottom of the fraction. In both cases of L and T, the delta is the Greek letter which means change in. So that would represent change in length or change in temperature. Volume expansion equation. Similarly, the volume expansion equation is of the form delta V equals V times beta times delta T, where V is the volume of the object, T is for temperature, Beta is a coefficient of volume expansion, which, once again, has units of per degree. Nothing on the top, degrees on the bottom. And once again, delta, whether it's delta V or delta T, means change in. Expansion coefficients. Notice the units of the expansion coefficients. Alpha would be equal to delta L over L times 1 over delta T. Beta, the volume expansion coefficient, would be delta V over V times 1 over delta T. These are found by simply rearranging the formulas to solve for alpha or beta. Thus, length and volume, respectively, cancel out. Both expansion coefficients have units of per degree, 1 over degrees. The linear and volume expansion coefficients are related to each other by the following relationship. Beta equals 3 times alpha. The volume expansion coefficient equals 3 times the linear expansion coefficient. Typical values for both of these would be found in your physics text. This is not something that you usually have to memorize. Sample problem. Thermal expansion. How much will the volume of a 2 cubic centimeter aluminum cube change if the temperature changes from 12 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius? The linear expansion coefficient, alpha, of aluminum is 23 times 10 to the negative sixth per degree Celsius. For our solution, 
we may need several steps. We will definitely be using the volume expansion equation since this problem talks about volume. However, we might first want to find what delta T is. In this example, we go from 12 to 32 degrees Celsius, that's a change of 20 degrees. Next, we'll need to calculate the volume expansion coefficient, which is 3 times the linear expansion coefficient, which gives us 69 times 10 to the negative 6 per degree Celsius. Finally, plug in the values we've obtained, multiply, and get a change in volume of 2.76 times 10 to the negative third cubic centimeters. Note, units and temperature change. When calculating a temperature change, you can use units of degrees Celsius, because a change of one degree Celsius is equal to a change of one Kelvin. For most thermodynamics problems, especially gas laws, calculations are done using absolute temperature, so you will need to convert to Kelvins. Thermostats. Thermostats are designed to measure temperature by applying the principle of linear expansion. A thermostat uses two fused strips of metal, each with a different linear expansion coefficient, different types of materials. As the strip heats up, one strip lengthens faster, so the strips bend away from the longer strip, and it curves. Typically, the bent strips will make contact with the circuit and turn on or off air conditioning or heating. Thermostats 2. Imagine a thermostat made up of two metal strips as shown below. The yellow strip has a larger linear expansion coefficient than the bottom. When they are heated, the top strip expanding more will become longer than the bottom one, thus it will bend. The strips bend towards the side with the lower linear expansion coefficient. Thermometers. Thermometers are designed to measure temperature by applying the principle of thermal expansion. Most home thermometers use mercury or alcohol inside a narrow glass tube. The alcohol may be colored so that it looks red. As the temperature rises, both the glass and the liquid expand. However, the liquid has a higher volume expansion coefficient than the glass, so it rises within the tube to tell you the temperature, which you can read from a scale that's printed on the outside. Thermal expansion. Stop and think. Why would engineers need to take thermal expansion into account in the design of bridges? Consider temperature and any length changes. On hot days, the metal supports of the bridge will expand and buckle if the bridge is not designed to expand. This is done by having sections where the bridge can expand and fit together. Similarly, the bridge will crack as the supports shrink on a cold.